The future of the historic Hampton Carousel is up in the air, and today you'll have the opportunity to give your opinion on where it should be moved to. A settlement between Norfolk State University and two members of the school's football team. This after an investigation into what they describe as a culture of sexual assault and hazing. Students are being asked to seek safety, shelter in place. Police say the suspect is Christopher Darnell Jones Jr. They're saying he's armed and dangerous. So for the first time, a big announcement for historic York town. Thousands of passengers will visit starting in 2024. Today is the grand opening of Hampton Road's newest medical marijuana dispensary. Cannabis will be the fourth dispensary in the region. President Joe Biden will visit Virginia Beach to discuss his expansive health care plan. On top of his agenda, lowering the cost of care for millions of Americans. A concerning report found many students are still not back in school. This long after the pandemic shutdowns ended. Police say a six year old shot his first grade teacher, Abby's Warner. Now lawmakers are thanking her for her heroic actions. Now this all happened just after 10 last night. So while the store was open and officers tell us at least five people are being treated at Centera Norfolk General. The number of people hurt could be as high as 10. And again, we're waiting on the status of those individuals at Centera Norfolk General Hospital there. And also they haven't shared what homicide this person is linked to. We're hoping to learn those those details. Of course, you may have heard the reporters asking those questions right from the devastation in Florida to what we can expect here in Hampton Roads. Crews are beginning to assess the damage along the Gulf Coast and it isn't good. Washington DC's famous flower, the cherry blossom is blooming. Experts say peak bloom starts today and runs through the 25th. The cherry blossom is a sign of springtime in the nation's capital. The annual festival is running now through April 16th, which features a kite festival, a cherry blossom 5K, mm -hmm. and a parade. It's so gorgeous. Yes, exactly. Right there around the tidal basin that they mm -hmm. have. So beautiful. A nice day trip. Hey, we're getting plenty of donations, but we need more. So if you're on the peninsula, even if you aren't on the peninsula, go ahead and make your way across the water and drop off some school supplies. I love Shirley Ralph. She uh, sang the yes. Black National yes. Anthem in the beginning beginning that red. I just that was my girl. The original dream girl. I was just in awe. You can use this QR code to donate monetarily. We've got some cups for you, some pop sockets. Who doesn't want this? Come on. You, you know you want one of these on your phone. Coach Mike London leads his football players to success on the field, so he's no stranger to tackling tough situations. But one of his biggest challenges has been off the gridiron as a father. I found out that my daughter Tyson that uh Fanconia anemia, which is a, a rare blood disorder that it impacts your ability to fight off infections. The likelihood of a child being born with this rare blood disorder is about 1 in 130,000 births. That's according to St. Jude's Hospital. In 2003, Tyson was admitted to John Hopkins Hospital. And in that moment, as a child, I couldn't really process what was going on. It's like, okay, what's next? Uh, okay, well, how much does one of those cost? Or what do I need to go to get that? Coach London says the doctors could not find a match on the National Registry or anyone in their family. However, there was one person who hadn't been tested. And when the doctor says you're the match, the perfect match for your own child and the odds of that, it's, it's, uh, I feel truly blessed. A match that saved his daughter's life. Now the family has their own campaign to educate more people to give. And they partner with organizations to host bone marrow drives whenever they can. I've been blessed, and so it's my turn and my opportunity to also reach out and try to bless others. Tyson is living a full life. She was a student athlete, graduated from college, and now is a sports athletic trainer for high school students in Suffolk. She says the Bible verse Joshua 1-9 keeps her inspired. Be strong and courageous, and that's kind of how I've lived my life, just being strong in anything that I do. You know. Faith family, and football. Overcoming this challenge has forever changed Tyson's life and Coach London's life. Well, what's most important is, is the legacy you lead as being a father and a husband and someone that's trying to help others. Bianca Holman, 10 on your side.